So I've been hunting for the best tool to summarize YouTube videos with AI. And in this video, I'm going to share with you the top five best options I've found. Some are free, some are paid. I definitely have a favorite, which I'll share later, but any of these tools may be perfect for you. But some of you may be wondering, why does one need a tool to summarize a YouTube video? Well, I have a few reasons. If you're like me, you likely spend too much time on YouTube. So by using a tool like this, you will save a lot of time. Sure, I could export the transcript, upload it to ChatGPT, write a custom prompt that formats the output and then paste it into my notes app or not. I don't have time for that. I hope you're too busy to do that too. These tools give timestamps for topics, summaries, highlights, everything you might want instantly. So that's what we're exploring today. And I do promise you, they're going to get increasingly better the longer you watch the video. I've saved the best for last. All right, let's get into it. So first on my list is this very popular tool. According to the Google Chrome extension store, it has over 2 million users. This is Monica. It's more of a general use AI tool for your browser, but they actually have a great summarizer that's built into YouTube. We can just click summarize right on the page and it will immediately get to work generating a broad overview of the video. And then it, it will break it down by timestamps if we want that. We can easily copy and paste the summary and use it anywhere we want. It is missing some key features that I think some of the next apps do better for summaries but it is free to download, so go check it out. Now, let me introduce you to my map. This is a totally different approach. If you're a visual learner, this may be the one for you. If you paste in the YouTube URL, it generates a mind map of the video on an infinite canvas. It's really amazing. I can see this being extremely useful for breaking down long videos like podcasts and courses. You might even use this in combination with some of the other tools in this video to deepen your understanding of a topic. Now, my map has way more features, including the ability to chat with the maps it generates and real-time collaboration, but I find its ability to map out YouTube videos as being the standout feature for me. My only issue with my map is that the user experience isn't as straightforward as this next tool. This tool is called OTO and it presents itself as a research tool. In fact, it claims to be the fastest way to do research. It has a beautiful minimalist UI, provides access to the latest AI models, and if I click the Chrome extension on any YouTube video, it instantly generates a summary on the left and provides a wonderful chat window where we can create anything else we want from the transcript with our own prompts. And OTO does something we haven't seen yet so far. It stores all of our saved videos in one place and we can easily chat with any of them by just typing the at symbol. It's great and honestly a feature I think most people overlook. The point of all this is to gather information for later use. If you can't quickly find that information, then what's the point? Having a centralized place to find these summaries is essential. Now, this app is for the real readers, the second brain enjoyers. Readwise Reader is an app that I've been using daily for years. If you're looking to highlight the exact text from a YouTube video transcript and then save it to your notes, this is the one for you. But what about summarizing? Readwise has it built in, but it's, it's easy to miss. If we go to the little ellipsis menu here on one of our saved videos, we can click Invoke Ghost Reader, and we're presented with a list of preset prompts. What we're looking for is the Extract Key Takeaways prompt. Click it and we instantly get a document note here with the takeaways in Markdown format. How amazing is that? And then all of these notes are automatically exported to our notes app of choice like Notion or Obsidian. That being said, Readwise can be a bit overwhelming for some. That's why for many people, I recommend this last one on my list. This is a new app that I've absolutely fallen in love with. It's called Recall. And if I click the browser extension, you can see it turns the video into a formatted summary document with timestamps. In this document, we can make any changes we want, delete sections and highlight text. When we're ready, it's very easy to share with a link or export to Markdown. In this menu, you can also see we have the option to generate questions. If you're really wanting to learn and retain information, this is invaluable. Recall takes our summaries and generates multiple choice flashcards. I know not for everyone, but very powerful. I haven't even shown you the best part about Recall. Like Odeo, it gives us a dedicated library for our saved video summaries, but it's doing something amazing here on the left menu. It automatically creates category folders and sorts videos we save by topic. Additionally, if we click graph in the menu, we can see it's connecting all of our videos together based on key concepts or subjects. It's been really amazing to watch this graph grow as I'm using Recall daily right now. This is by far my favorite YouTube summary tool because 
In addition to the amazing features, I find the wording of the summaries it generates to be the most concise and actionable. Okay guys, that's it for this video. If you want a curated list of innovative tools in your email inbox each week, join my free newsletter in the description of this video or go to this website. Thank you guys so much for watching the whole video. It means the world to me. You have no idea. So thank you again, and hopefully I will see you in the next one.